poem is about how some religious people appear to behave like kids in the playground, winding each other up and invoking their dads. If any of you are religious, I'm not having a pop at your religion, I'm having a pop at everybody else's religion. The poem is called Our Fathers Who Art in Heaven. My dad is bigger than your dad. My dad is loving and true. Your dad is covered in bogeys, and your dad's a big smelly poo. My dad's an all-seeing being. Your dad is stupid and dense, but it's driving me mad, because when I say dad, I mean God, so I'll stop the pretense. My God is better than your God, which means, at the end of the day, that my God is right, and so I'm going to fight, and then you're going to do what I say. And if I should die in the process of waging unwarranted war, he's promised me dozens of virgins. I'm finally going to score. But logic would tell me he's living. Because thinking about it again and assuming I make it to heaven, I doubt there'll be virgins by then. His version of truth isn't gospel. It's dogma and stigma and fog. And maybe we've got it all backwards. What man really needs is a dog. But my dog is bigger than your dog, with pedigree breathing in class, and your dog's an infidel mongrel who's sniffing another dog's arse. So that doesn't really work either. It seems that I've sold you a pup. But at least it's a pooch that existed, and not one that someone's made up. Now my god and your god are angry. How dare you berate and dismiss us? You humans are morally bankrupt. You worship the self-god Narcissus. You shamelessly strive to be famous. You boorishly boast and bedazzle. You venerate mags that show pictures of wags with fake boobs and a pointless vajazzle. You're shallow and vain and deluded while feeding your feeble fixation, spending cash you don't have to look more like a chav in an orgy of gratification. And you blindly rely on your eye gods. Your eye gods are shiny and sleek. You download commandments on tablets which you break by the end of the week. So my god and your god have spoken. Their stance on the subject is joint, and despite being fictional constructs, I reckon they both have a point. My god's agreeing with your god. They're best of imaginary friends. They joke and they talk and they sometimes eat pork and they go down the pub at weekends. Now gods might have been quite appealing when humans weren't terribly bright, but the facts are profuse and there's now no excuse for insisting their teaching is right. Instead, what we need is a third way but not one promoted by Blair, because he's guided by dubious forces, and I don't think we need to go there. So cast off the cloak of religion. Replace it with love and compassion, the kind of immutable values which never should go out of fashion. Preach tolerance, fairness, and freedom. Treat all humankind as our brothers. Stop worshipping gods and ourselves and our dads, and start taking advice from our mothers. Cheers. Yeah.